so in this video we're gonna have a look at why differentiation works and why we can just go about applying that little trick where you pull down the power uh, and obviously decrease the power by one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at this graph of x squared. Now obviously when it comes to a graph and when it comes to differentiation, hopefully you already know that it's about finding the gradient at a specific point on a curve. So what we'll have a look at is this particular graph here. So for this graph, we're gonna say that y equals f of x. Now for the particular one that I've chosen here, I've chosen the graph of x squared, so we know that y also equals x squared. Now when it comes to finding the gradient, and particularly obviously when you've learnt um, stuff prior to this, you'll find the gradient between two points. And if I pick two points on this x squared graph, I'm going to pick two nice coordinates here. We'll look at this one, and we'll look at this one here where we've got x is 2 and y is 4. Now normally when you're finding the gradient between two points, you do the change in y and you divide it by the change in x. Okay, Or you might have also seen it as the second y coordinate take away the first y coordinate, divided by the second x-coordinate, take away the first x-coordinate, there we go. So the change in the y-coordinate there divided by the change in the x-coordinate. And we're going to apply a lot of this logic, although we are going to be looking at working out the gradient at one specific point. So if I have a look at these x-coordinates, now I'm going to forget that they're numbers for the moment, okay, I'm just using this particular graph here so that you can obviously see a real graph rather than me just drawing one, but I am going to just imagine, look, if we have a look at this first x-coordinate here, and I'm going to call that the x-coordinate, okay, obviously on this graph it comes out as 1, but we'll call that the x-coordinate. Now over here to the side, the y-coordinate, which is obviously 1 on this one here, but I'm just going to say that that y-coordinate there is going to be equal to the function of x. Now obviously in this case the function of x is x squared, so y is going to equal x squared at that point. If we look at the next x-coordinate, which is obviously 2 in this case, but if we have a look at this one down here, there we go, whatever that x-coordinate is, as an expression in terms of x, we would say it was x plus whatever that change in the x-coordinate is, and I'm going to call that, for the case of this one, I'm going to call it delta x. Okay, so we'll say x plus delta x, whatever that change in that x-coordinate is just there. And in, uh, obviously up here for the y-coordinate, that would mean that whatever my function of x is, y is going to equal the function of, I've just realised I've not written that function down there very well, I need to rewrite that. There we go, that's f of x, there we go. And this will be the function, I've put it in the bracket again, don't know why I'm doing that, there we go, let's do that again. y is going to equal the function of x plus delta x, okay, whatever that additional movement in x is going to be down the bottom, okay. So whatever that's going to equal, obviously with our numbers here we know that, that equals 4, but obviously if we pick any point on this graph here, it's going to be x plus whatever that extra movement in x is down the bottom. Now if we have a look at these now, obviously what we would normally work out, and this is what you may have done at GCSE level, we would work out now a gradient from there to there. But what we're actually looking for, and what we want, is a gradient at a specific point. And let's imagine it's that first x-coordinate there. We want the gradient at this point, which obviously has a very different gradient to the green line that I've drawn. And we're going to come back to that a little bit later on and look at how we actually get the gradient at a specific point after we've discussed this little bit here. So, moving on from this then. Now, if I draw my little uh, triangle in that we would have drawn at GCSE level to work out a change in y over change in x, let's have a look. Okay, so we've got our little triangle drawn in in purple there. Now I'm going to say that the change in x down the bottom is obviously that movement in x which I've called delta x. So we'll call this delta x, whatever that movement is there. And the change in y, uh, and let's obviously just call it a, a, a delta y, a little change in y. Okay, And we are going to work out what the change in y divided by the change in x is. Now if we have a look at the moment, we know that y equals x squared. Okay, So that's our graph here, y equals x squared. We also know, um, looking at this, that the y plus delta y, there we go, okay, so y plus that delta y, the change in the y coordinate, is going to equal the x coordinate at that point squared. Now, the x coordinate we've already got down here, we've got its x plus delta x. So if we square that, we would have x plus delta x squared. Okay, now if we expand that bracket out, okay, so we've got y plus delta y, and that's going to equal, and if we expand that out as a double bracket, we'll get x squared plus two lots of, and it would be x, x lots of delta x, and we'd get two of those, so that would be 2x 
delta x. And then we would also have delta x times delta x, which will give us delta x squared. Okay, so delta x squared. Now, we've got two expressions now. We've got an expression for y, okay, down here. y is going to equal x squared. Let's just highlight that. We've got an expression for this one. y is equal to delta, uh, x squared. And we've got our y plus delta y, okay, which up here is giving us that expression there, x squared plus 2x two de two delta x plus delta x squared. Now what I want to do is obviously thinking about our original formula, look, we take this second y coordinate and we take away the first y coordinate. So obviously our first y coordinate is here, y is equal to x squared, and our second y coordinate is here. Okay, so if I take those away from each other, or in essence taking away the y from both sides, which on the left hand side is y, and on the right hand side we have x squared, so we could take those away from both sides. So if I do that, take those away from both sides, we get delta y on the left, and that is going to equal 2x delta x plus delta x squared. There we go. So that's where I'm at at the moment. So that is my little expression there for delta y, or the change in the y coordinate. Now obviously when it comes to differentiation, we take the the change in the y coordinate and we divide it by the change in the x coordinate. Now the expression that we have at the moment for the change in the x coordinate is down here, we've got delta x. So I need to do delta y divided by delta x. So at the moment we've got delta y here and we're going to divide it by delta x. And if I actually go about doing that, let's have a look at what that, what that looks like. So we've got 2x delta x plus delta x squared and we're going to divide that by delta x. Now we're almost done, we're almost getting there. So when I have a look at this now, if I simplify this look, if I divide the top there by delta x, that's going to cancel out the delta x here and one of the delta x is here, so I'll cross the power off. And that leaves us with 2x plus delta x. There we go, obviously taking off one of those delta x's off the delta x squared. So at the moment we've got the delta y over delta x is equal to 2x plus delta x. Now obviously I mentioned earlier we're not actually wanting the coordinate of, I'm um, sorry, the gradient between those two points. What we want to do is we want to get the gradient at one specific point. Now if we imagine that I took this coordinate here and I dragged it all the way down to here, okay? So right on top of that little one there, as close as we could possibly get. Now obviously I can't divide by zero and I can't put zero in there, but if we imagine that I pulled that coordinate right on top of it and we would imagine that delta y that cha and that change in x, okay, would be zero, okay? Now obviously we can't do that because we can't divide by zero, but in terms of my expression, if we imagine that delta x there, that change in x was zero, then this little piece here will always become zero. So if that is always zero, okay, but bearing in mind we're looking at it just at one specific point now, then delta x won't be there. All we'll actually have is the piece there on the left, which is 2x, okay? So we're having to apply a little bit of a thought there in terms of obviously, imagine that we were able to drag that coordinate right on top of it, therefore making delta x zero, but you can see that that makes our entire process here just become 2x. Now obviously when it comes to differentiation, the x squared that we were looking at, the process there is to multiply the coefficient of x by the power, so there we go, x squared becomes 2x squared, and then you reduce the power by 1, so it becomes 2x to the power of 1, which is exactly what we have down here as our final piece after differentiating there. So when you are differentiating, I've sort of simplified little bits here and tried not to overcomplicate the language, um, but essentially that's what we're doing every time we're differentiating, okay? And that is why we can multiply the coefficient by the power and reduce the power. So there's a lot of maths going on in there, um, but hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully it was useful in showing you how to, do, like why we can differentiate and how we go about this um, in a sort of, hopefully a little bit of a clear and simple way. But there we go, that is how to differentiate and obviously why it works. Uh, obviously I will link in the description then the rest of the series on this on actually practicing differentiation and questions that you can go about uh, working on. But obviously check those out and have a go and see how far you can go with your differentiation. But this is why it works and how it works and hopefully that was helpful and useful. If it was, please like, please comment, please subscribe and I'll see you for the next one.